This is a demo of OpenStack Ironic integration with Neutron ML2 mechanism drivers to support bare metal deployments. On the left hand side, um, we're logged into a, a terminal where OpenStack services are running. On the right hand side, we're logged into the switch where the bare metal node is connected. Um, I'm running through a series of commands on both terminals just to show the initial state of the system. So on the OpenStack side, we have a tenant um, created. We have one ironic node. We have that node has a port. The port has additional extra attributes, namely the chassis interface and the chassis ID. So those are attributes of the switch where the bare metal node is connected into. On the right hand side then, we've shown there's no initial um, OpenStack tenants or networks. And the interface for the bare metal node is a trunked interface. It's not connected at the minute. There's no particular VLANs set up or allowed. Um, in the OpenStack terminal window, I'm creating uh, two networks. I've created a management network and a customer network. And you can see these networks are now appearing on the Arista switch. Um, what we're going to do now is to uh, do a Nova boot. So we're going to do the ironic deploy. So we kick off Nova boot. Um, this has then created um, a, a node and we can see it's in the Nova list. Um, on the switch, then we can see through the show open stack uh, BMs uh, that we now have a bare metal node visible on the Arista switch. Um, we look at the same interface that the bare metal node is connected to. We can see the status is now reading connected. Um, that means the server has been booted up um, automatically through the ironic deploy process. We can show the status and the, the trunk details are now showing that we have dynamically provisioned a native VLAN on that port and that VLAN is allowed. So that VLAN of 151 is the VLAN of the customer network that we created earlier. So we're now going to look at the remote console of the bare metal uh, server. So we can see it's just booting up now. So the ironic um, has the ironic driver has uh, started the server. We're going to go through the server boot up process relatively quickly. Um, so we can see it booting up, going through the standard Pixie deploy process. We're going to then go into a DHCP um, request. So we can see the the offers come through the TFTP. Um, but processes are kicking in then where we're loading up this deploy kernel and this deploy RAM disk. So the server is going to continue uh, to boot up as, as normal. Um, so it's just going to go very quickly. And then what happens as part of the standard ironic uh, deployment process is that the server will reboot itself. So it's a, stu a two, two boot process. And so any minute now, we should see the server be turned off and then it should be powered back on again through the power uh, reset that, uh, that Ironic does. And there we have it, the server is um, turned off and is going to start back up again. Okay, so we see it up again. We're not going to go through the whole of the second boot. Um, but we can now see on the OpenStack services that that node is now active in Nova. It's uh, up and running and active in Ironic as well. We can see the switch configuration is still there, so the networks are still listed.